trouble shooting the basketball. Looks like both teams are a little tight, and I still think that the first team that's able to just settle into its game a little bit is going to have a big advantage. Andre Patterson finds Bozeman along with Knight. Barnes, Capono. Back door, nice play. Bozeman rejected by Trayvon Bryant. But another offensive rebound in the corner. Rise and fire. Capono buries it. It's a two-point field goal. Balding down the floor the other way, and he draws contact. Great job of penetration on the inside, and when the defender has to come over and block the shot, it creates some opportunities. Here comes Brian. He blocks the shot, but that Missouri is not able to come up with the ball. We talked about how these UCLA guys are very long, and the long arms of Andre Patterson track that one down. As Balding gets the first one to go. First two rounds, he's been playing some good basketball. Young man from Renaissance High School in Detroit, Michigan. And he has struggled today. He's missed a couple of shots, and I'm sure that the Missouri supporters are hoping that he can get something going. Ball tapped out into the hands of Rush from downtown. Rims around it out. And here comes UCLA. Rush is one for four to start the game. No easy basket for either team. And that was the shot that Quinn Snyder will have Rush take as often as Rush can get at the wide open one from the top of the key. Great right pass! Nice play, Capono. Finding the open man, and UCLA has done a good job passing the ball during this tournament. Look at that swarming defense. Gage to the basket, and he banks it home. Gage, he's just been a calm force out there for Missouri. Great scrambling defense by UCLA. Johnson going for the steal and the foul has been called. It will go against Missouri. UCLA defense really creating some difficulty for Missouri, but here's the pass. The, that's a great job by Capono. Substitutes coming into the game. Gat Zurich replaces Andre Patterson. He's got Bozeman, Knight, Barnes, Capono on the floor with him. And the foul called. And that's Arthur Johnson. And Arthur Johnson starting to pick up fouls away from the basket. Johnson went for a steal the last time and missed it. Quinn Snyder doesn't want him. Trying to take the ball outside. That's his first foul, but you don't want to get a foul 15 feet from the hoop if you're Arthur Johnson. Cat Zurich jump hook, and he gets the bounce. And Cat Zurich makes it a 21-16 game. UCLA. Rush curling around the screen in the paint. The beautiful touch. Rush with four points. Now Bozeman, hard dribble. Young fellow on the baseline, cut off by Gilbert. In the corner, Knight partially deflected. Rebounded by Gilbert. Here he comes, he's got Paulding on the wing. What he didn't great, see him. What a great job by Getzurek to stop the ball. Of course he didn't see him. There's a 6'10 guy draped all over. Rush kicks it out. Johnson stumbles, taps it, no. Matt Barnes with the rebound. Bozeman again. Up top, 20-footer Barnes. Got it. Matt Barnes can shoot the three. He's a 41% three-point shooter on the season. And he can do a little bit of everything. Had 17 points, 8 rebounds, 11 assists in that double overtime win. Over Cincinnati, largest lead of the game right now for the Bruins. And the Bruins are starting to get some easy looks at the basket. Balding in and out. Knight ahead of the field. And he's fouled. Balding. The Bruins are getting open looks because they're drawing the defense down to the baseline. Bozeman did a great job with the penetration. Barnes, nobody anywhere around him. He's got all day to wind up and knock that one in. And for Missouri, it's not a bad thing if they take the open shot quickly, but if you miss that open shot, Quinn Snyder knows that means a quick run out by UCLA down to the other end, and that's what we've seen the last few minutes.
Missouri has gotten a couple of open looks, but they haven't been able to knock them down. And when you shoot quickly, you allow UCLA the chance to get out and get down the court. So Knight gets the first one to go. He's a fifth-year senior from Los Angeles. I look at the numbers in the first round to play. Big game against Ole Miss, 21-7. and seven. Prolific three-point shooter. Has hit 63s on the season. Don't let this guy get his feet set. And he can get his feet set very quickly. When he's shooting the three, it's almost sort of a set shot. Wants to go into law enforcement. The FBI or CIA after his college career is over as he checks out of the game. Classy kid, D. John Thompson, comes back into the game. UCLA up 26-18. Al Baldwin. Now this is a critical stretch of this basketball game for Missouri. UCLA has sort of set the tempo of the game with their defensive pressure, and Missouri's got to find a way to get the ball inside against this zone, force the defense to move, get some easy shots. UCLA covering a lot of ground with that zone. Paulding the high archer over Gadzurk, and he finally gets one to fall. First field goal of the game for Ricky Paulding. Now Gadzurk across the lane, travels. That's a good job by Arthur Johnson. You force Gadzurk to catch the ball four or five feet away from the block down there low. Then make him dribble the ball to get there. Johnson did a nice job moving his feet. And got Zurich lucky not to get a foul called on him because he certainly hooked his man as he went across the lane. Knock back to Clockerty giving him a break. Meanwhile, Balding drags his pivot foot in the backcourt. 3.54 to go. 26 20 UCLA. Don't forget, coming up on Singular at the half, Brett Gumbel and Clark Kellogg will get you updated on all the latest tournament news, plus a live look at Kent State versus Pittsburgh. That's all coming up on Singular at the half. Gus Johnson along with Dan Bonner, the most talented player on this UCLA team, probably that young man, Matt Barnes, seven points, six rebounds, three assists, very versatile, can take over a game by doing the little things. Here's Bozeman. He's got Barnes along with Walcott. Barnes facing up on Bryant. He's 6'7. Takes him off the dribble, the jump hook. Too strong. Ripped down by Rush. Three thirty-three to go in the first half of play. UCLA with a six-point lead. However, both teams struggling to get the ball to go down. Kareem Rush trying to make something happen, just runs right over Dan Gadzurek, and that has been the struggle for the Missouri. Tigers so far tonight they have been trying to make things happen they have been struggling on the offensive end and I think you have to credit the UCLA defense with creating sort of a frantic pace in this game and Missouri just can't get settled in nine turnovers now for the Tigers Walcott cut off on the baseline by Gilbert who's raking at the ball got Zurich calling for it Barnes looking for Thompson and the bracket here in the West Oklahoma dismantling Arizona in the first game of the day. They await the winner of